here. Um, and we welcome all the online guests. I'm Maria Voitko, CDTO Campus Project Manager and the moderator of this event. First of all, I would like to thank each soldier, service men and service women who allow us to build better future in a free and independent country. Today is a very exciting event because we would like to share with you the information about a very ambitious project of ours, the project that will help us to continue building the most user-friendly digital government. The Ukraine faces tremendous challenges as it is, but we need to keep the momentum and start moving even faster. And also I'd like to thank uh, our partners, CDT of Campus is uh, funded by Visa Foundation, Federal Ministry of Economic Cooperation and Development of Germany, supported by GSZ with the support of the Center of Excellence and the uh, supervision of the Ministry of Transfer uh, Digital Transformations of Ukraine. Uh, during this event, you can see our um, online uh, broadcasting uh, and we also took care of the simultaneous interpretation. So first I would like to start with a video from the visionary of this project, Mr. Mikhail Fedorov, Fedorov, Vice Prime Minister in charge of innovations, developments, uh, education, science and technologies, and the Minister of Digital Transformation as well. Hello. Today we present to you CDTO Campus, the educational project of the Ministry of Digital Transformation that would allow to increase the number of digital leaders. Ukraine became one of the first countries in the world that introduced the CTTO position. Now 55 deputies from Digital Transformation are working uh, and the governor's offices, ministries, agencies, uh, city halls, they're drivers of digital changes. Together with you, we managed to create the culture of digital transformation in Ukraine and carry out the projects that simplify the work of Ukrainians. CD2 helped to launch the fastest registration of the self-employed uh, COVID certificates, Yemalyatka, and other D application services. But digitalization is not only about services, but transformation in certain industries. For instance, the state statistics and civil service. The next challenge, training new future train uh, digital leaders. We need about 1,500 CDTOs who will be launching digital government and speed up the digitalization. Currently, Ukraine doesn't have colleges to train such experts, so we launch CDTO Campus Educational Project, which will help us to grow up new personnel who would help us to transform various industries, faster introduce innovations, faster implement regional projects, streamline business processes in government um, agencies. So this is like an MBO, but for CDTOs. We have exclusive content based, based on Ukrainian experience, including uh, the war times, and we would offer programs that will help to improve skills and knowledge of the current and future CDTOs. This is free of charge. Education, thanks to our donors, we are launching the digital transformation in public governance. That's the first program, but then follow new announcements at the campus website. CDTO is the profession of the future. Join our campus project, become future digital leaders of Ukraine. I would like to thank our partners and donors. Thanks to your help, we launched this project. Thank you, guys. Thank you. And now the floor goes with a presentation to uh, Valeria Ionan, Deputy Minister of Digital Transformation in uh, responsible for European integration. Hello, everyone. Thank you for finding time in your busy schedule to come and be with us today because we are launching a very important project, important for all of you, first of all, but also for all those who want to strengthen and improve the efficiency of the civil service and who would like to try themselves at the positions of digital leaders or CDTOs in your community. So let's start with the presentation straight away. You know that we are building the most user-friendly digital government in the world, and Ukraine is called the European Tiger of uh, Digital Transformation. I constantly repeat this because we have what to be proud of. 
lots of results that we managed to achieve together with you. Ukraine is the first country in the world where the digital passport, as you know, has the same uh, authority as the paper or plastic ID. 20 million users already. Our ecosystem has six different projects, lots of digital reforms. Uh, behind me, you can see only a small portion of those projects and priorities that Ministry of Digital Transformations will keep as priorities for the upcoming year. But at the same time, it's what we are lacking are qualified personnel, especially at the grassroots level. You obviously feel this in your teams, and that was the impetus for us to launch this project named CDTO Campus. As Vice Prime Minister uh, compared it, it's like MBA, but for CDTOs. The major idea of this project is to offer the opportunity to all those who want to try themselves at the position of digital leaders to be exposed to this long-term digital training program, which will prepare each and everyone to work at this position. And those who are already uh, CDTOs or digital leaders, it will help them to improve their knowledge and skills, learn probably best practices, international experience, in order to implement innovations. So we can, with conviction, claim that this will be the first in the world technological program for training digital leaders, because before launching this project, we studied best practices, international cases, more than 200 various programs, American, European colleges. And what we're going to be presenting to you today, you won't find anywhere. This is available here in Ukraine. Speaking about the CD2 campus, we will have two long-term programs that are launched now, nine months long for those who would like to become CD2 and leadership program for the uh, incumbent CDTOs. But at the same time, we envisage that there will be a huge number of short-term programs focused on improving knowledge or systemizing existing um, database. So we start selecting students. You can see QR code here. This transform tra digital tra transformation in public governance will be launched uh, February next year, 14 modules, ideal for those who want to start their civil service career or those who are already uh, only uh, the newcomers and they are only six or 12 months in their position. So it won't hurt to attend such modules as state policy, how to shape it, public uh, digital infrastructure, digitalization services and maintaining them digital education, cybersecurity, all that is available on the website. There is registration form. Please fill them in. The second leadership program is also planned for next year, and it will be implemented together with Georgetown University. It will be available to those CDTOs who are already working for a couple of years in those positions. So we'll offer the improvement of their knowledge. Again, another registration form to fill in, which we expect you'll do and apply. Speaking about the methodology of those training programs, it's important to state that we try to combine the theory with practical cases, which, as you know, we collected uh, a lot. And now we can confidently claim that in addition to Ukrainian cases of Ukrainian digitalization, we would also be uh, covering cases from Estonia, Poland, and some other countries. Also, it's worth mentioning that at all our programs, we stipulate that guest speakers will be invited, uh, current and former digital leaders and digital ministers from Europe and worldwide, and we believe that will be the right thing to do it because all the governments are facing the same challenges and sometimes the solutions for those challenges could be diverse, of course, but they could be creative and you can compile a lot of stuff by using other people's cases. 
Now, the format of training. It's a hybrid format, both online and offline sessions, since these are long-term programs. As for short-term programs, we uh, will open uh, a, a registration for three projects, and you can see the names here and QR code with filing the applications. So today is the day when we launch the project. And in one month's time, you'll see a, a larger number of programs that we will make available to you. And hopefully you will find the one or the Recording ones in that progress. will be, and obviously, uh, in order for you to be uh, to have comfortable educational environments, we create the CDTO campus application and smartphone where you would be offered interactive opportunity to train anywhere, any place, get personalized consultations, get personalized analytics, get access to information. And at the time when you need it and when you have time to learn, we have a huge ambitious goal. We need, in total, more than 1,500 digital leaders so that we would uh, push digital reforms both at the national and regional level as fast as possible. So this goal in front of you is a minimal goal. Our, our goals are much more ambitious, but in order not to scare ourselves, we decided not to add them here right now. We'll start with this and then gradually, but surely, we'll increase the number of our students in the first year, we plan to train from 100 people upwards. But since we have a number of new programs in pipeline, most likely it's going to be a bigger uh, number of uh, graduates. CTTO is the profession of the future, and digital transformations like innovations is the red line that goes through all industries and all the areas. So that our country was the most user-friendly, comfortable, efficient, so that the citizens would be able to make use of digital ser services, educate themselves, pay fines and penalties, file tax returns. In order for us to be most efficient and transparent, we truly need to support and even uh, speed up the momentum of digitalization that we set starting in 2014. So. That's the whole reasoning behind this project. We place huge hopes on it. And this uh, project would be impossible without our partners who support CDTO Campus, JZ, Visa Foundation, East Europe Foundation that implements this project, and our partners who help us to carry out short-term programs. FIAP, uh, Cisco, AI House, and I hope and many more partners to come. So please join the digital changes now. Here's QR codes. We wait for your applications. Please send this information to your friends and colleagues. Thanks a lot. And now I pass the floor uh, first. Thank you very much, Valeria. If you didn't manage to scan the QR code, you can always find it uh, on the reverse side of your page. Now I would like to pass the floor to another strategic partner. We are grateful to the GIZ team for their important uh, support. Yeah, hi, thank you so much for having me. Um, unfortunately, today I cannot be in Kiev. Um, this is really unfortunate. I really enjoyed um, other events in Kiev before. Um, yeah, but today I have to join virtually. But as Valeria mentioned, the CTDO campus will also be a hybrid, a hybrid campus. So I'm the hybrid part today. The state in a smartphone, it started with a vision. The most convenient, convenient digital state, it started with a vision. And today um, we witnessed the beginning of a new vision becoming a reality, um, a country with the biggest and most sophisticated workforce of digital leaders. And this is what the CDDO campus is all about. <laughs> 
Um, if you met me before, I'm a big fan of the CTDOs in Ukraine, and this is what we keep telling the German ministries. In fact, just uh, two weeks ago, Valeria was so kind to visit Germany, and um, we had a lot of very fruitful discussions with German ministries. And in every meeting, the concept and the system and the structures of the CTDOs came up. And um, our ministries, I have to say, were very jealous uh, about this workforce. Um, I can't imagine what they will say uh, once the CDDO campus is up and running. Because the spirit and the knowledge exchange, exchange among the Ukrainian CTDOs is really priceless. During challenging times, such as the pandemic before, but now, um, especially during the war, digitalization con contributes to the resilience of the society and the state ensuring that institutions can continue to work and um, bring public services to the people. And despite the war, we see that the Ukrainian government continues its efforts to provide and further digitize its public services, keeping them running thanks to the digital public infrastructure, but also thanks to the workforce, to the CTDOs and you. Um, and everything um, was just built uh, a few years ago. So this is quite impressive. So even in the context of the war, we understand that it is vital to develop capacities to have especially trained personnel in the government and um, in the public administration at all levels, the national, the regional, the local, um, to have the government, to have the state of Ukraine to stay resilient and capable to implement further digital governance reforms. So German Development Corporation, um, this is why I'm here today representing German Development Corporation. We are supporting the establishment of the CDDO campus, the initiative, initiative which is implemented in close collaboration with the Ministry of Digital Transformation of Ukraine as the political partner of the BMZ, and the BMZ is our German Ministry for Economic Cooperation and Development. Um, as partner of this BMZ funded project. And the name of the project is Good Governance through GovTech and Transparency. The CTDO campus will become a special place, a hub where digital pioneers will not only drive digital transformation and work on new digital products, but it will enable digital diplomacy and export of Ukraine's best practices um, in building a resilient digital infrastructure beyond its borders. Ukraine has several digital instruments already, which can and even should be internationalized so that other countries can also benefit from it. Um, and I think the CTDO campus will also um, not only spread the knowledge within the Ukrainian e-governance ecosystem, but will also help to um, have other partners on board that will be able to learn from the Ukrainian experiences. So we are delighted to assist the Ministry of Digital, uh, Digital Transformation of Ukraine in implementing these educational initiatives like the CTDO campus and to play a role in Ukraine's ongoing recovery efforts. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, I'm uh, looking forward to see where this is going. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Julia, and we continue our event. I would like to ask our technical supporter to put up the video from the Visa Foundation president, from Macmillan. It's an honor for me to speak on behalf of Visa Foundation today at the launch of the Chief Digital Transformation Officer Campus Leadership Program that we proudly supported. I've seen firsthand the power of digital transformation to uplift people and build more inclusive and resilient economies. The peer programs like the one unveiled today amplify the reach and the potential of digital advancement. As Ukraine is proving every day, the digitization of government services and processes is a catalyst for innovation. But none of this would be possible without the right talent driving it. And the CDTO Campus for Digital Transformation Leaders marks a key step in Ukraine's innovation evolution by empowering public sector professionals with the knowledge to accelerate digital transformation. Leveraging decades of experience building one of the world's most secure payments networks, Visa contributes to digitization through capacity building initiatives. 
is a foundation support for the CDPO campus underscores our commitment to empowering the new generation of digital transformation leaders steering Ukraine on a path to a more resilient and inclusive economy. Thank you, and I wish you a successful event. Thank you very much. And now we pass the floor to Svetlana Cherva, the Vice President, the Regional Manager of Visa in Ukraine and Moldova. Welcome everyone, the participants and uh, the visitors to this event. Uh, I'm very happy to be here and to be talking to you. First of all, I uh, represent uh, visa business in Ukraine. And I'm extremely proud uh, to be contributing to this project. We have been cooperating with the Ministry for Digital Transformation since 2019. Since the time we signed the MOU, we have implemented multiple projects since that time, and they have already yielded great results, such as the accelerator for uh, women entrepreneurs that we launched last year. 5,000 uh, women entrepreneurs have undertook the training and we supported them with the grants today it is indeed a great honor to be part of the launch of that program for the digitalization leaders which the cdto campus is and we are grateful to the team of the ministry for digital transformation for that i would like you to be successful to be open for new knowledge sometimes we might get the feeling that we know everything but the world is changing so fast and there are so many new digital services coming up disruptive technologies popping up i am certain that with our knowledge in the financial area we would be useful for you and we would always be happy to support you and be your partners thank you We are grateful to Visa team for your ongoing support for significant projects for Ukraine. And now I would like to invite Viktor Lach, the president of the East Europe Foundation. Thank you, Maria. I'm very happy to see you all. You are incredible. And we are the incredible country. And we are able to show to the rest of the world that we are implementing new technologies during the war, even in the dire situations and in the difficult conditions, we can still make the world wonder. What you do in the digital transformation is unprecedented. We managed to prove to the rest of the world that we can. Today's program is another unique example that cannot be found anywhere in the world. I would like to support the previous speaker who said that this is the first uh, structural digital transformation program for you. This is the CDTO campus. We invested a lot of resources, knowledge, time and experience to build this program that could help you become those who could say we can. We can as organizations and we can do it together. We know for sure that the organizations that are incorporating digital transformation make their faster development. Whenever they have proactive leaders promoting digital transformation with the knowledge and experience, we can see the great outcomes for the digital transformation of cities, municipalities, and uh, other levels, which is inspiring for everyone else. But we also know that uh, implementing innovation in difficult situations when we have the more limited resources, it's not an easy effort, but we can. I would really like to see this program bringing us the feeling of confident statement of we can. Try to make use of each and every opportunity to learn and use your knowledge. We also plan to support leadership and networking. We would really like you to be motivated and inspired to have everything that the leader needs to promote innovation. We know how critical that is and how it is not easy to achieve. That's why we support you. 
and we are happy to be able to rely on important partners such as GIZ and others. Please take my word for that. You are very lucky to have access to this program because I'm certain it will be scaling up to other countries. I'm very happy to have such important partners. And very soon you will be envied by other details in other countries. When you take this program, you will be able to say we can and we prove it to the rest of the world. And we will support you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Victor, for your vision. And now we shall talk about our joint work and the first short-term program. And we would like to invite Maria Hastan Bertrand, who will tell us more about the program. Maria is the technical institutional coordinator of the FIIA project of EU for Digital UA. This initiative launched today. It's our pleasure to be here with you. My name is uh, Maria Gaston Metran, and I am the Technical Institutional Coordinator of the uh, EU-funded program EU for Digital Ukraine that's been implemented in Ukraine since December 2020 by the Spanish Foundation FIAP, belonging to the Spanish Corporation. EU for Digital Ukraine program focuses on the further development of digital government infrastructure, public services, cybersecurity, and data protection. One of uh, the key components of the EU for Digital UA program is uh, personal data protection. In fact, uh, currently we are working on the guidelines on artificial intelligence in the field of personal data protection as a recommendation on the processing of personal data in the use of artificial intelligence. That's going to be published uh, very soon. EU for Digital Ukraine program is funded by the European Union uh, is proud to support CTO's campus and in particular by contributing to the organization of two specialized training courses for CTOs on two relevant topics such as data protection and artificial intelligence. On one hand, we will have a training program on personal data protection that will provide in-depth uh, knowledge and expertise on specific data protection issues related to digital technology in line with the GDPR criteria. Participants in this program will acquire a comprehensive understanding of personal data protection, ethical considerations in the use of cutting edge technologies, data anonymization techniques, and privacy principles in project and product development. They will also gain insights into the challenges posed by the modern uh, digital landscape. This program includes 10 lectures emphasizing the practical application of knowledge, and it will be delivered by experts from the National Data Protection Agency of Spain, along with uh, Ukrainian data protection experts. On the other hand, we will have a training program on artificial intelligence that's designed to empower current CTOs with a comprehensive skills in leveraging artificial intelligence for effective public administration. It will, in fact, combine theoretical knowledge with practical insights from experienced civil servants and real-life case studies from the Spanish public administration. This program, consisting of eight uh, modules, will be delivered by experts from a Spanish EOI business school together with a different Spanish public administration expert. Such courses are of the utmost importance if we take into consideration especially the desire of Ukraine to align with the highest standards in data protection area and its future, future integration into the European Union. Our sincere congratulations again to the Ministry and its partners on the launching today of CTO's campus. Uh, happy learning experience. We are so glad to contribute to this as well. Thank you so much. We are moving along the agenda. I truly believe that you are looking forward to applying to our programs, but please bear with me. And now I would like the technical team to 
put up the video from Eva Meidel, the political figure from Bulgaria, and she is the president of uh, International European Movement. I'm very honored to extend my warmest congratulations on the launch of the CDTO campus in Kiev. This truly marks a great step towards an important digital future for your country. The digital transformation is not just a choice, but I believe it's an integral part of the journey for all modern nations. In a way, it shapes our economies, it enhances societies, it propels us into a future driven by innovation and technology. I very much hope that the CDTO campus will become a hub of knowledge, a place for nurturing the next generation of digital leaders. Because we truly need those digital leaders of the new generation. These are the individuals who are not just adapt at using technology, but they understand the implications, they understand the challenges, the possibilities. I know that the CDTO campus is not just a strategic project for Ukraine. It is a project with implications reaching far beyond its borders. So this initiative is not only beneficial for Ukraine, but it holds great promise for the entire European continent and beyond. Ukraine, with its commitment to progress, aims to share the knowledge and programs developed at the CDTO campus with governments of other countries. And this collaborative spirit is what makes the CDTO campus not just a local endeavor, but a global force for positive change. This is why I want to very warmly congratulate once again uh, the CDTO campus is opening and I'm delighted that digitality is a partner to this idea. I'm very happy to be able to join as a guest lecturer for the CDTO campus educational programs in the near future. And I very much look forward to this fruitful collaboration. Before I end uh, my video message to you, I want to um, say how grateful I am for the leadership of Mihail Fedorov and Valeria Yonan of inspiring citizens um, to understand better technological development and to deploy it within uh, government, but also for your leadership overall. Thank you. And our next video comes from Janusz Czeszynski, former Minister of Digitalization of Poland and the Digitality Board of Directors. ...initiatives like digitality. First of all, all governments around the world face similar challenges. We all want to chase the tech which is running very, very fast. You see that different states want the same for our citizens, but not all of them know how to do it well. A couple of countries in Central and Eastern Europe, like Ukraine, Poland, Estonia, and a bunch of others, have done this very well. We want to share our experience with countries around the world and show that there's a common way towards digital goals. Digitality is a foundation which will help every country that needs the support to be more digital. It has on board one of the most experienced digital minds throughout Europe. What we want to do is share our experience, show how we not only created a vision, but how we made it very operational and made it happen for the citizens of our countries. Join us in digitality and help global leaders around the world make their societies as digital as they deserve to be. And my pleasure to offer the Maria Kanchan, the Dean of Georgetown University. 
My name is Maria Kanchan, and I am the Dean of the McCourt School of Public Policy at Georgetown University. The McCourt School and our Tech and Public Policy Program are pleased to partner with the Ukrainian government on shaping the digital future, a leadership training program for the next generation of Ukrainian civil servants. The program will connect Ukrainian digital leaders with McCourt and Georgetown's faculty and digital policy experts for an immersive learning experience in critical areas, including public policy, digital public infrastructure, service design and delivery, and key related topics like data privacy, cybersecurity, and digital culture. This program is part of the Chief Digital Transformation Officer Campus National Educational Project for Leaders in Digital Transformation in Ukraine, led by the Ukrainian Ministry of Digital Transformation. I want to congratulate our Ukrainian partners on the CDTO campus, a critical and innovative initiative to accelerate digital transformation in your country. Georgetown and the McCourt School are proud to partner with you to shape and strengthen the digital future of Ukraine. We look forward to hosting you in Washington, D.C. next summer. Thank you. Now, the mic goes to Sergei Martinchuk, the head of the representative office of CISCA in Ukraine. CISCA helped us to offer the uh, short-term training program. Hello, everyone. First of all, thank you, Valeria, and your team in the Ministry of Digital Transformation to be part of the school program. I'm envious of you because you are getting MBA, basically, and it's uh, on the job training and the visit to Washington. Come on, that's cool. And I was thinking about CDTO, and I believe that this is a brand name now. When somebody asks you last time what CDTO stands for, you probably don't remember when was the last time when they asked this question because in Ukraine it's not CEOs but it's the CTOs that are responsible for IT transformation of the whole country and CTO campus is the uh, tip of the iceberg so to speak as to the training well it all started with the TV series by the way those who was uh, registered uh, before um, uh, February. We filmed Digital Transformation in the Regions TV series. We filmed it together with the Ministry of Digital Transformation. It's called Nadia Svita. So if you have nothing to watch during the Christmas break, please do watch that series. Now, Recently, I learned from a research what are the main obstacles for digital transformation. And when we filed our program, it turned out that we faced similar challenges. And the first one is lack of skills. And the program itself is tailored to make your skills better not only yours, but in principle of everyone who works with you. And for us, the analogy is this. You're building the best building in the world, and our job is to lay the foundation where on which you can put that building. So our solution platform infrastructure, what would make your building stand long time and allow... Um, stable foundation. The second challenge, lack of proper communications and collaborations. And as for Cisco solutions, we do a lot in that regard and we can help you out. On, and one of the modules would be on collaborations. Third part, fear, right? Of risking. People are afraid of taking risks. And when you talk about transformations, that's substantial changes, and sometimes you fear those changes. And that's why 
this year we launched in Ukraine the program that is called Country Digital Acceleration, CDA. And you might be checking this abbreviation, uh, but we're trying to brand name it now. So that's one of the cool programs that would allow to help and fund pilot projects in digitalization sphere. And so far, we have worked with a couple of government institutions to launch the pilots and to prove that the concept is realistic and then scale it up. And finally, that's not an obstacle, but in case of the successful digital transformation, there is one side effect. The more digital you are, the more vulnerable you are. So I'm hinting at cybersecurity, and we'll have a module on that. Something we need to always remember about, especially in the time of war. We are on the IT front lines, and cybersecurity is critical, critically important. So everything you create should be behind reliable fence and strong doors. So I wish you cool training. I hope that CDTO brand would uh, make you be proud for the job you're doing. Let's change the country together. Thank you. Thank you, Sergey. And now the floor goes to Tomas Richter, co-founder of Digitality, the company that we worked a lot when creating the general concept of our project. Dear CDTO Campus crowd, my name is Tomas Richter, and I'm really honored that I can share my message with you on this special day. Being a part of Digitality team and also working on a daily basis on digitalization of Poland, I really believe that striving for digital excellence is the only way to build better societies. Openness, exchange of ideas, sharing the knowledge is the only way that we can shape future leaders of digitalization and to build a better world around us. As we know right now, world is changing really rapidly. And I believe that digitalization is a key, a solution for us to build tools, to give tools to people who are struggling uh, every day to make their life easier, to make their life more fair, to help them in everyday situations and also to help them in the times of need. That's why I really believe that ideas like campus are a great way to prepare future digital leaders for the coming problems, for the pre for preparing solutions for the problems that we will be meeting every day. I hope that ideas like CDT campus will be expanded worldwide. Be brave, be digital, change the world. Thank you very much. Beautiful motivational speech. And now the floor goes to yet another partner of ours, a house that created the CDTO program on AI, Taras Daranyuk, the partnership unit head. Hello, everyone. Thank you for inviting here. The Ministry of Digital Transformations did it again. We observe yet another milestone in digital transformation of the public sector of our country. I represent AI House. We are a non-commercial organization that plans to create the strong AI community in Ukraine, the most progressive one. And what we do, we help AI startups, product companies, and enlarge the knowledge about AI. The line of products we work with starts with schools, workshops, educational courses, consultations, you name it. As part of CDTO Campus project, we will prepare the program on the basics of artificial intelligence. Well, let me tell you this much. We're going to give you practical knowledge that will 
allow you to start using various AI tools and products to resolve the product the problems that civil service faces. And not only we will be with you from A to Z, we will help you to find answers to the questions you have about AI. And we believe that then you will join our community, AI House, where we would expose you to resolving even larger problems. We will allow you to make use of the knowledge gathered in our community. Hopefully they will help you to find solutions to the problems you are facing. So uh, apply for the course and we will wait for you to become a member of our community. Thank you. Thanks a lot to all the speakers. Probably we are all hungry and ready for the reception, right? But I would like to address all our potential students who I believe would be cool to all our lecturers and everybody involved in our project. We kindly ask you to stay with us because our goal is to create a cool community. And from my observations, when I received the first calls from you, when we were only designing the project, somebody told me what you consider to be your biggest achievement. The creation of the community answered. So please join it and keep inspiring one another and change the country for the better together. Thank you. So the networking starts now in that zone in five minutes time. We will be ready for you. So once again, thank you for finding the time to join us. We expect you to file applications. Stay for the reception. Thank you and goodbye.